laser head removal a step-by-step guide. Laser cutting issues can arise due to debris building up inside the head itself, for example Z-wire fault code or poor cutting. So it's advised to regularly take the head off and clean out any debris that might have built up. Before you actually take the head off you need to remove the nozzle, we've already covered that in a previous video. First of all once you've done that you need to um, remove the nozzle, uh, the uh, end nut, by uh, rotating clockwise. You also need to disconnect the two pipes connected uh, to the machine. The left hand side pipe is actually hidden away, or the, the actual release is hidden away behind the machine. This left hand side is actually the uh, nozzle release air feed. Once you've released the pipe fitting, you should look, look something like this. The right hand side pipe fitting, I say you just pull that uh, uh, socket down and it should actually release. The right hand side is the laser assist gas feed. There are four bolts um, shown, this is the photo from below. Um, you need to undo, undo those with a six millimeter Allen key. You need to remove three of the cap screws, actually leaving the right hand side rear one in until last. This is because it's very close to the Z-wire connected connection um, in that corner. Um, you need to remove the right hand screw very slowly as the ZX connector can actually get easily damaged. So it's useful to have an extra pair of hands to support the head while you do that final bolt. Uh, once you've got it out, you can lower it approximately an inch and you should be able to see the Z-wire. Um, it's just the back there, as is shown in the photo. If you can get your fingers around it, you should be able to pull down to release the push fit connector. Once it's out, it should look something like this. You should be now be able to remove the head completely. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more laser videos.